what's up guys and welcome back to the channel in today's video we're going to be discussing spider-man far from home which is the new film that is approaching us very fast ladies and gentlemen i hope you guys are ready for this spider-man film because i am ready all of these trailers have been dropping like hotcakes recently and there has been you know a bit of confusion when you are you know watching these trailers because a lot of us wants to know what is the general situation going on and it's just a lot to take you know what i'm saying due to the excitement and we just had endgame recently so we're still tripping off of that film so just seeing these trailers you know for the spider-man far from home movie is really you know turning the pages for us but i have you know um a short short like um trailer which combines new footage with you know some of the old footage so um i'm gonna play the beginning part of the trailer and then i'm going to stop it because the rest is stuff that we already seen and hopefully you guys have already seen the old footage, you know, because it is everywhere all over social media. It's kind of hard to miss. So without further ado, here is the first portion portion <laughs> of this new release trailer. Um, and I'm just going to tell you my thoughts and what's to be expected afterwards. So let's just actually watch this together. Nick Fury's calling you. That's him. You sent Nick Fury to voicemail? I gotta go. You do not ghost Nick Fury. Woo! Hey, how's it hanging? I love that guy. I need a suit. I like the new suit. Thanks. Woo! Hello, Peter. Hello. Would you like to see what I can do? All right, so there you have it. As I said, very short, very brief, but all new scenes in which I very much am super excited to see this film. Now, let's just talk about actually what we just saw. So the biggest thing that you can take out of that is Tony Stark's shades. Now, these honestly... They blew me away, you know, because of the fact that that's, you know, his like his, you know, his like his final imprint that he has left behind for Peter to pick up on. You know what I'm saying? All these breadcrumbs. So he made sure that Peter, you know what I mean? Like he wasn't left alone in this world just in case if something were to happen, you know what I mean? You still have some form of Tony left, you know, and that form just happens to come in the form of his tech, you know what I'm saying? The greatest tech on the universe, you know, the greatest company in the universe. And this is just amazing. The fact that, you know, he puts on the shades and that just gives everybody the feels because I know a lot of people you know, after watching that, they probably started really losing their shit, you know what I'm saying, um, just to see Tony's glasses, and, you know, just that weird, funny part as, you know, they kind of throw in the whole situation in which you can see, uh, exactly what's going on in people's, uh, phones and stuff, you know, you had some of the text messages popping up, you had profiles of people's, you know, um, life on his freaking shades you know what i'm saying you, everything like secretly was exposed about those people in his surroundings and that just you know it kind of combines the fact that yeah this is tony's you know glasses and stuff this is peter parker at the same time so they kind of 
blend that together with the fact that he's a teenager and this is something like you know teenagers probably would want to know about you know what i'm saying like what's in somebody's phone they want to see messages they want to be able to see through people's um clothing and stuff like that you know so it would have been kind of funny if they would have shown that as well um but like i said you know <laughs> we kind of understand that scene and we also get some new scenes in which he's you know doing his local neighborhood superheroing um but the biggest thing is with this trailer and stuff like that you can see that for some strange reason now there is more of the iron spider thrown around in the situation than the classic um stark tech suit that he had the first one um now i think the reasons for them you know edging on this whole stark suit is because of the events that took place in Avengers Endgame, obviously. Now, when they were battling Thanos before the snap, Peter was there with his Stark Tech, you know, Iron Man suit. You know what I'm saying? Um, and in the beginning, before he went to space, he had its res, you know, he had the regular suit. And then, you know, um, Tony gave him the Iron Spire suit. If you guys remember when he first went into space, when um, Peter was actually supposed to go back, you know, go back to school or whatever, go back to the trip and get back on the bus. But, you know, during that time, P Peter didn't listen and he helped out and he just was like, you know what, you gave me this cool suit and blah, blah, blah. So that's where, you know, he gets the iron spider suit and he puts it on and then Everything from that moment on is, you know, Peter in the Iron Spider suit. So he never actually took it off, you know, and then the snap comes and Peter fades away. He's gone. And then once they bring everybody back, Peter is still obviously wearing the Iron Spider suit. So now when it comes to Spider-Man Far From Home, they actually want you guys, you know, to think that this is directly a follow-up from the snap so that is why they kind of like copied and pasted certain scenes in which we already seen that he had you know his original stark tech suit on which is the red and blue suit with the uh like um the cloth wings underneath the armpit areas he originally as I said in the trailers, that's the suit that he was wearing. But now since the Avengers Endgame movie and stuff like that, now that that's over, you know, they kind of substituted all those scenes and changed it around to the Iron Spider suit. So, you know, hopefully that kind of um, answers your questions there for that situation. It's just a matter of just, you know, editing to make things look even better, you know. And then the fact that in all of these trailers, one thing that didn't change is the fact that the police officer pretty much says, you know, are you going to be the next Iron Man? So that is basically the main focus. And that is the purpose of showing the Iron Spider suit in these trailers, you know, just to get that general idea that, Maybe one day Peter can try to become the next Iron Man or not specifically the next Iron Man, but something, you know, relevant to being how Iron Man was, you know what I'm saying? Because Iron Man paved the way for all of these Marvel heroes that we have today, you know what I'm saying? Considering the fact when you think back to 2008, that was the first film that started off the franchise. So, yeah, you know. Once you break it down like that, it makes sense. Now, the second question a lot of us have, you know, with seeing these trailers and stuff is, is Mysterio, uh, you know, a good person or is he a bad person? It's kind of hard to tell because when you're looking at it, it would seem as if, you know, he's kind of a hero and he's trying to help Peter, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, it's like all of those people 
that know about the comics and everything like that, that Mysterio is like a pathological liar. You know what I'm saying? Like he's very good at it and he has held some grudges and stuff like that in the comics and he has done some bad things. You know what I'm saying? So it, it's kind of hard to pretty much explain what's going on in this film because in the beginning part it could be very much you know Mysterio's a good guy and then towards the end he becomes you know ultimately the main villain for this film you know seeing as maybe the other villains are just you know um target practice to see how Peter you know um matches up against those two and then you know, Mysterio comes in and steps in and be like, yeah, I was the mastermind behind all of that. You know, I set all of this up just to bait you in and now I got you kind of situation. So I'm like super excited and I can't wait for this film. You know, um, what else can I say about it? Um, oh, yeah. One more thing. It is good. It is really, really good to see that. Him and Happy has this sort of connection in which they actually, you know, somehow weirdly connected to each other. You know what I'm saying? It's no, it's no longer like, like, who are you again? You know what I'm saying? Like, Peter knows who Happy is and how important he was in Tony's life. And he understands it. You know what I mean? And for the same situation, you know, it's like vice versa for Happy. Because at this time, you know what I mean? Like, this is his first time working with, like, a teenager, you know? And then he makes it known that he's not working for Spider-Man. He's working alongside of him. But at the same time, it's like, you know, he's kind of still being like how Tony was to Peter. You know what I'm saying? He's being a mentor, uh, a person that, you know, can be trusted and relied on. Because at the end of the day, you know what I mean, Happy is still and will always be, you know, like Tony's, you know, number one guy. Because of the fact that he's not here, that doesn't mean that, you know, Happy stops working. Because Happy is like the most extremely loyal person I have ever seen in, you know, in the Marvel Universe. Because I would say... You know, when it comes to these universes, the, the second, you know what I mean, will be obviously Alfred Pennyworth, you know, because they kind of like the same thing, you know. But the difference with Happy is he was never, you know, like a butler. He was Tony's bodyguard, you know. So he became bodyguard, best friend kind of situation. And, you know, Happy was always there taking care of of the family and being very suspicious of things and always put his life out on the line. And you know what I mean? Like he can still be considered a hero, you know? Um, and it's always been proven that you don't necessarily need powers to be a hero. Um, seeing if you guys remember the other Iron Man films and stuff like that, Happy has always came to the rescue, you know, during like big fight scenes and stuff like that. Um, they thinking back to Iron Man two when he showed up on the track with the um with the car with the Rolls Royce and kind of hit Ivan with it, so it was it was pretty funny. Um, but as I say, you know, he comes to the rescue. He's very loyal and everything like that. So it's just good to see him working with Peter. Now, one thing I kind of you know want to see happen is like where we see like a maturity level kind of develop in Peter Parker just due to him working with Happy because we already knew, you know, Spider-Man, you know, both in the cinematic universe and in the comics and in the cartoons that he's a loose goosey kind of character, you know what I'm saying? Because he is a teenager, so that level of maturity, you know, it's, it's not fully developed yet. Because he's still a kid, you know what I'm saying, virtually um, and age-wise, you know what I'm saying. He's not fully considered an adult yet. So it'll be interesting, you know, to 
see him working with Happy and Happy actually getting him in line, you know what I mean, like far as a maturity level, you know, getting him to stop with the quips and the jokes and everything like that to get him to take the job a lot more seriously, like Tony has took it, you know what I'm saying, but not in the sense of exactly how Tony took it because there was times when Tony just, you know, honestly just forgot to breathe because he was always tinkering that was his thing if you guys remember so you know those are my general thoughts on the film um as i said once again i can't wait for this film to you know get out there in theaters now the question for you know as far as the box situation goes like i don't know exactly how much this movie is going to make or how good it's going to be but i do know that you know end game is you know it's pretty much like stomped out everything <laughs> you know far as like box office numbers goes um john wick 3 was actually up there too so you know there's a lot of stuff to compete with then you had the godzilla film which just recently you know hit theaters so it's gonna be crazy you know what i'm saying um we still got time until this spider-man far from home comes out you know um but yeah that's just something to think about you know as far as numbers goes you want to you know have an interest in seeing how this is going to compete against you know, the other films that are already out. As I mentioned, you got John Wick 3, you got Godzilla, um, that Ma movie is coming out. So there's a lot of competition, you know what I'm saying? But hopefully this Spider-Man film lives up to its hype. You know, I love all the trailers that have been dropped. There's not one trailer that I just say, you know what, I I'm, I don't care about this film. There hasn't been one of those, you know. Each and every trailer that drops is just, you know, bringing my excitement to the next level. And the fact that everything that I am seeing is in full HD and even 4K um, quality, <laughs> It's definitely going to be sold for me. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to see this movie. You know, whether if it's in the theater or it's going to be, you know, watched online free, you know, a week early or whatever the situation may be. But I am going to see this film. There will be um, official, you know, like movie reviews for it. You know, once I watch the film, um, if I have time for more trailer breakdowns and stuff like this video um i will make it you know what i'm saying but only if there is new footage i'm not going to keep explaining about the old stuff because you obviously know the situation with the old stuff so today it was just about you know tony's glasses that we seen in there and the whole situations with the iron spider suit and the original tart um tony stark tart um tech suit so yeah you know um the reason why i keep them separate is because there is actually a difference because both of them are still considered a tech suit but the original spider suit was just basically his regular spider suit with, you know, a couple of upgrades, you know, um, courtesy of Tony Stark Industries, you know what I'm saying? So, you had that. So, yeah, you know, it's just like... The fact that I'm trying to basically not confuse the two suits, that's the whole situation in which why I say, you know, the Stark Tech suit and then the Iron Spider suit because they were both initially different. Still both Tony Stark's tech, it's just the first suit was initially just a normal spider suit once again with the upgrades courtesy of Tony Stark. And then the second suit, you know what I mean? The second suit. <laughs> That's a funny way to say things. The second suit. 
the second suit was just, you know, an Iron Spider version of the Iron Man suit. You know what I'm saying? It combined what Spider-Man has had with the webbing and, uh, you know, the um, lasers and shooters and stuff like that. And then you add the Iron Man tech into it with the repulsors and all the flying capabilities and stuff like that. So, yeah, you know, um, that is why I said it the way I said it, you know. Just to not confuse most of you guys with the fact that these suits are both entirely different. Um, and the black stealthy suit that we've seen, you know, being, you know, being pretty much <laughs> the black suit that we've seen. When did we see it? Yeah, we've seen it a couple times. Um... <clears throat> Excuse me. They don't keep showing it, you know, for some strange reason. But that black suit, kind of stealthy suit that we've seen was given to him by Nick Fury. I believe that's like, you know, the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. kind of Stark, um, Stark Tech suit or something. Um, I believe it possibly has, you know, some of Tony's imprint on it, but... Like, 90% of the suit does come from, you know, S.H.I.E.L.D. itself because it's super stealthy and then, you know, it's not your average, like, Spider-Man suit, you know? So, yeah. So, you have the black stealth suit. You have the Iron Spider suit. You have the Stark Tech suit. And then you have the uh, red with the black suit. So that's like four different suits there. <laughs> Super excited, man. Super excited. I hope you guys enjoyed this video in spite of all the pauses that I've made, you know, just trying to catch my breath and stuff. Um, and in spite of this little buzzing noise in the background, I think this was a pretty decent video. Um, I felt like I explained everything to the best of my ability. So if you think I also did so, please leave a like on this video. If you felt like I missed something or I confused you in some sort of way or you just want to educate me, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. If you're new to this channel, be sure to subscribe and turn on your post notifications. Those notifications will alert you every time I'm uploading a video to this channel or doing a live stream. And as always, guys, I will catch you in the next video. Peace out.